Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will introduce you different ways of installing CP2K on your computer. And in the next videos, I will show you one by one how to install CP2K. So CP2K contains different executable versions. And uh, the four most used versions are SOPT, SSMP, POPT, and PSMP. So SOPT means that this is single core serial execution. So it will only run on one CPU. And SSMP uses OpenMP to have multi-core support. POPT uses MPI to do multi-core support. And PSMP basically combines MPI and OpenMP. Therefore, the efficiency of the first one is the lowest. And the last one could be the highest, but uh, you need some fine tuning and the efficiency of the middle two, I would say is similar. So there are several ways to get CP2K on Linux. On Windows, you can download the binaries and I will not cover here. But in Linux, there are basically three ways and from easy to difficult, first is to download the pre-compiled executable um, and only SOPT and SSSMP are available. And the second one is to use package manager of your system, for example, apt install for Ubuntu, and you will get the POPT version. The third one is to download the source code and compile it yourself. And uh, for this, you can get all four um, executable versions. So what are the pros and cons? For the pre-compiled executable, this is very easy to use. You just download the single program from the official website. And then the SSMP version offers already multi-core support, so you can run parallel computation on multiple cores. And it is already quite efficient for most of the uses. The cons are that they are not optimized for a specific CPU structure and uh, you cannot benefit from Intel compiler and MKL, uh, which usually gives you an advantage over the GNU compilers. The second choice is to use package manager of your system and you will get the MPI version of the parallel computation. The pros is that it is very easy to get and it is the only easy way to get the MPI version. The cons is that uh, usually it will install many dependencies globally. And if you have some other programs, this change in dependencies may cause some problems in other programs. So for example, I use uh, Intel compiler for Quantum Espresso and Wasp and also Intel MPI. But if I run apt install for CP2K, maybe it will install some other open source MPI version, which overrides the default MPI setting that I used before. And then my VASP and Quantum Espresso does not work anymore. Yeah. So this, and just keep in mind, if it gives some problem, maybe this is because of that. And then you can use apt remove and apt auto remove to get rid of the CP2K. And then the third way is to download the source code and compile it yourself. And with this, you can get a full control and all versions with more optimizations, including specific uh, CPU structure as well as Intel compilers. The cons is that and this is like the manual mode of your camera. It is not easy and you need to know what you are doing. You need to do trial and error and benchmarking so that you get a really optimized compilation. If you do it right, you can get much higher efficiency. But if you do it not correctly, maybe the efficiency would be the same as the two methods before or even worse. So if you asked for my recommendation, I would uh, recommend to use this SSMP version that is pre-compiled on your personal computer and then do some benchmarking. If it can offer you multi-core support and it is efficient enough, I would definitely recommend that because it is easy to use. If you want to boost your efficiency even higher, then consider compiling the source code yourself. To run the command, basically for SOPT, this is the serial version, you could just run the command minus I followed by the input file and redirect the standard output to the output file. You could do uh, some other ways, uh, let's say minus O and then the output file, but then usually it will append to the output file. Usually I prefer to use this redirection sign here. For SSMP, if you want to exploit the multi-core support by OpenMP, you need to first export the OpenMP thread number to the environment and then run this. It will automatically use six cores or let's say six threads. 
you need to do some benchmarking to see how many threads is the optimum. Personally, I would say that if you have six core, then use six threads, yeah? And this is usually a good starting point. Then for the MPI version of the parallel computation, you need to use MPI run minus MP followed by the number of cores that you want to use in parallel. And then this is the command input file and uh, redirection to the output file. So in this video, I have introduced you different versions of CP2K executables, what are the pros and cons, and the commands to run the calculation. So in the next video, I will basically uh, show you all these different ways and benchmark them. Just to mention, the download page for CP2K is in the official website cp2k.org slash download. And then basically here you can find um, all those possibilities here. Yeah, I will cover that in detail in the next videos. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.